December 10th, 2022, 632 p.m. Episode 1927. I just had dinner made here at home and um, some big chicken, chicken, big stuff. Can you shake it? And some rolls and some, and some uh, canned corn. So that was my exciting Saturday night. Um, this is today's cartoon. I was thinking, you know, after Friday, see, yeah, I cut myself off again. Uh, after Fridays, whenever I like, have to do my CNN stuff, which can be a lot of work, uh, I think Saturday, I don't, I'm not going to worry about the pressure. I'm not going to worry about what time I finish the cartoon, whatever. And that's the way I should work every day. Um, but I always like to do something a little bit crazier if I can on Saturdays. Normally, you know, no one's going to, well, maybe someone will scream at me about, but you know, I figured people are in the offices. So I send this cartoon to them and they'll look at it Monday and go, oh my God. But this isn't one of those really, uh, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's not, I don't think it's anything for uh, newspaper writers that's going to get upset about or whatever. They may not run it, might, maybe. Um, basically, I'm calling the Republican Party corrupt, and I don't have a problem with that. Uh, comparing them, say, which, and also showing that the Republican Party is now just like another Trump organization. As you know, or you should know, the Trump organization was found guilty on 17 counts of, of fraud, you know, of, of like tax fraud and much other stuff. Uh, they're, they're, everything that Donald Trump touches, though, is corrupt. And I gave a long list of examples in today's blog. I'm not going to go through all of them with you. But everything is, is corrupt. Oh, everything, everything, everything the guy does, everything is corrupt. And every time there's some dumb excuse, oh, there's not to give me hands, which I know, people, white billionaires are so persecuted in this country. Nah. Um, it's everything. It's just some excuse for, every, for all the stuff. And it's so funny that they're going after Joe after Hunter Biden's laptop shit when there's nothing there and they have all this overwhelming stuff about Donald Trump. But Donald Trump always seems to escape it. And hopefully this is going to end soon because the Trump organization just get rammed with 17 counts and they're going to have to pay uh, like a million and a half dollars, which will probably be nothing for them in a fine. You can't send, and these are criminal charges, but you can't send a corporation to prison. Um, too bad they can't dismantle the whole motherfucker. Uh, and, and auction it off in bits and pieces. Um, I'll, I'll take a little piece of Trump Tower, um, put on my mantle next to my RFK. Actually, it doesn't belong there. It doesn't deserve to be next to my RFK. Um, let's do a couple of uh, uh, shout outs. Uh, Dr. Mordecai says that he's held like that before, like in the last cartoon. Any wonder, but he's crazy. Wonder what's wrong with her. Maybe she's crazy too. Uh, that could be what's wrong with a lot of people. Uh, Robert Cortino said, Sigh, yeah, with the last cartoon about cinema switching parties. Um, so my editor at CNN, we were talking about it, and he didn't really think it's that big of a deal because he was like, ah, I don't really want to beat her up about this um, because he was like, don't we want this more, this partisanship stuff? I, I, I do that that too, but I don't like holding your your, parties, your party hostage, you know, like the way that she has done and, and the way Manchin has done. I, I'm not a big fan of that, especially for the reasons that they do it. A lot of times it's just a bunch of fucking bullshit. Um, anyway, uh, I enjoyed drawing all those elephants today. Everything had to be placed in the right area and it just kind of always works out sometimes sometimes when i do a cartoon like that i step back like the next day and just think eh, i don't like the artwork bye guys talk to you later but i like that one bye